Cumberland Gang Show, Getting Over from 2019. Two elderly gentlemen, Andy and Charlie, appear on the right of the space. They both wear flat caps and use walking sticks. Andy wears glasses, a dark brown cardigan over a collared white shirt, and mid-brown trousers. Charlie wears an argyle patterned waistcoat over a tan long sleeve shirt and dark brown trousers. He also carries a basket with groceries. So, what have you been up to lately, Charlie? Hi! Hand projects voice. I said, what have you been up to lately? Oh, well, last night I went out to this new restaurant. A nude restaurant? Aren't you a little bit old? No, a new restaurant. And it was really great. I recommend it very highly. What was the name of this new restaurant? Uh, uh, Albert's mm, McDonald's. No, uh, it's a type of flower. Self raising. No, the one you give to someone you love. The red one. A carnation? No, no, the other one. Oh, you mean a rhodia. Charlie shakes vigorously a towards Andy a and stops. An azalea. No, it's red and it has thorns on it. Do you mean a rose? Yes, yes, that's it. Charlie talks off to the right. Hey, Rose, what was the name of the restaurant we went to last night? Andy walks over and grabs Charlie's shoulder. We left Rose back at the market, you old fool. But look, Charlie, here's your gate. I'll be on me way. Thanks, Annie. I'll see you again next week. Remember me to your wife, whatever her name is. Good afternoon, Charlie. See you next Thursday. Andy slowly exits to the left. Charlie walks slowly up behind a large wooden gate, which has a simple structure of three horizontal rails, three vertical pickets, and two diagonal cross braces. The gate is supported by a stone wall on either side. He goes to open the gate, where he finds it locked with a padlock and chain. He tries to push the gate open to no avail. He puts the basket down and goes back to take a run up, using his walking stick like a pole vault. He crashes into the gate, falling to the ground. He hooks the stick to the gate's top rail and strugglingly uses it to help pull himself back up before bringing his arms over to finish getting up. <coughs> he bends down to crawl through a triangular shaped gap in the middle of the gate. He gets his head and arms through, tries to pull the rest of his body through, but falls back out to the ground. He hooks the stick to the top rail again, pulls himself up, hooks his arms on, and he is back on his feet. He lifts his foot up, using the stick to support his body. He then turns the stick around, hooking it under his thigh. Using the stick for leverage, he gets his foot onto the middle rail. He brings the stick behind his back, hooking it onto his pelvis and controlling it with one hand above his head to pull himself up. He gets halfway over the gate before falling back down to the ground. Hooks the stick to the top rail again and pulls himself back up. He slowly walks across to the other side of the gate, briefly clutching his back. He hooks the stick under his thigh again and gets his foot onto the middle rail. He then places the stick under his knee and uses it to lever his leg over onto the top rail. He hooks the stick behind his back again and uses it to pull his body up. He now sits on the top rail with one leg on either side. He leans across, but he falls through a gap in the gate, landing back on the ground where he started. Visibly annoyed, he gets his hands onto the top rail and struggles to pull himself back up. He is now back on his feet. 
He hooks the stick under his thigh again. And gets his foot onto the middle rail. He then levers his leg over and onto the top rail. He has an idea. He lifts the stick up and then thrusts it down. He places the bottom of the stick on top of his hanging foot, then uses it to push down on his foot. He is now sitting on the top rail again. He leans across and falls, but he has now successfully made it to our side. He uses the stick to push himself up onto his feet. He leans over to each side trying to pick up the basket, but feels nothing. He turns around and realises he left it on the other side of the gate. He walks back over. Three scouts enter from the left. They notice Charlie trying to get his basket back and have an idea to help. Charlie notices them. Two of the scouts walk up to Charlie, pick him up, turn him around and throw him back over the gate to the side the basket is on. The scouts salute to us and joyfully run off. Charlie angrily shakes his walking stick towards the scouts. Fates to black, end of sketch.